Today, we'll look at two methods for removing a fence in Photoshop. Both of these methods work very well and they're both relatively new to Photoshop. So if you've been doing this kind of thing for years, it may be time to update your workflow. Let's jump right in. Maybe you got an amazing picture of an animal or bird, but there's either a fence or some other object ruining it. Let's take a look at the first of two relatively new features and tools in Photoshop to help us get rid of it quickly and easily. The first tool is the Remove tool. The Remove tool was released in a 2023 update. You must have Photoshop 24.5 or newer. To see which version of Photoshop you have, click on Help and scroll down to About Photoshop. And here it will show you which version you currently have. So if you aren't there yet, you'll have to update Photoshop to get this tool. So I'm going to duplicate the background layer so that I'm working non-destructively and select the Remove tool. Now, if this happens when you click on a tool, that might mean that you have to first rasterize the layer. And to do that, just right click on the layer and choose Rasterize. Now this layer is ready to be edited. With the Remove tool, all you have to do is paint over an area slightly larger than the area you want to remove. Then let go and it's on. Look at what a great job it did even over this really detailed area of the eye. It filled those areas in perfectly. Let's do the same thing over the feathers. Just paint and let go. Again, Photoshop did an amazing job. Now, sometimes you might have an area that needs to be cleaned up. So all I have to do is swipe over it again and it disappears. Right now I have remove after each stroke selected. And with that selected, each time you let go of the mouse or lift the pen, the object is removed. But now that it's unselected, I can let go and change positions and just continue painting, then click on the check mark when I'm ready for Photoshop to remove that area. I prefer to work in relatively small batches of areas so I can keep a close eye on any touch-ups that need to be done before moving on. I'll just swipe over those areas again with the Remove tool. And this time I'll uncheck Remove after each stroke. And now that area is all cleaned up. I'll just continue on painting over the fence and cleaning up as I go. You don't really even need to be all that careful about where you paint. As long as you overlap the area that you're trying to get rid of just a little bit, then you'll be fine. So now here, Photoshop got itself all corn fangled and confused and took out this whole section. But not to worry, just control Z and try it again. And I'll remove smaller sections this time. And just like that, the entire fence is gone. Now I'll show you what might be an even better way to remove a fence. It's good to have options. Right here under the foreground and background colors is something not everyone is aware of. It's called a quick mask. When you click to activate the quick mask, the layer you're working on turns red. That's how you'll know you're in quick mask mode. In quick mask mode, everything you paint over becomes a selection. Watch how easy this is. With the paintbrush, I'm going to just go over the fence. Again, not being super careful, just paint over top. I can let go if I need to, to resize the brush or change the position. But just like before, I'm painting out of the lines of the fence just slightly. So my brush is just a bit wider than the fence. I'm going to do the entire fence this time. Now watch what happens when I hit Q for quick mask. Everything I just painted over turned into a selection. Just like any other selection, you can always go back and make any needed adjustments using any of Photoshop's selection tools. But again, you don't need to be too picky here. It does not have to be perfect. I'm really just doing this to show you that you can. From here, I'll head up to the contextual taskbar. If you don't see it, click on Window, scroll down to Contextual Taskbar, and make sure it's selected. I'm just gonna click on Generate, and what I'm doing is letting Photoshop's AI capabilities fill in that area using the pixels from the eagle as a reference for what I want to be there instead. So Photoshop analyzed those pixels and was able to fill in my selected area with pixels that are similar to those of the eagle. And just like always, you'll wanna go through and clean up any areas that may need it. I'm using the Remove tool for that. Again, make sure the layer is rasterized first. And once again, the result is incredible and that took no time at all. 
But what if you didn't get a perfect result? No problem, you can either use the Remove tool to get rid of those lingering areas, or you could just do another quick mask. Again, click on the quick mask and brush over the areas that didn't get removed. Hit Q for quick mask and let Photoshop generate new pixels. So there you go. Those are two great ways to remove a fence or really just about any object from an image in Photoshop. And they're both relatively new, so give them a try. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.